In this video, I'm going to discuss about fresh water allowance FWA. Well, to understand fresh water allowance, let us first understand the purpose of load line. Well, a vessel is loaded up to the required permissible load line to avoid overloading. Well, there are various types of load line and which I'm going to discuss later. So suppose the vessel is having this required permissible load line and it's floating in fresh water like this. However, I shift this vessel in salt water. Now let us discuss about the densities also. The fresh water relative density is 1, which simply means that the density of fresh water is 1 ton per cubic meter. Similarly, the relative density of salt water is 1.025, which simply means that density of salt water is 1.025 ton per cubic meter. Well, the relative density is the ratio, ratio of the density of substance to the density of fresh water. So in case of salt water, the relative density will be the density of uh, salt water, density of salt water divided by density of fresh water. So in this case, it is going to be 1.025 divided by 1 or simply 1.025 relative density doesn't have any E on it. Now we know that the salt water is much heavier than fresh water. Now we know that the salt water is much heavier or much denser than fresh water. So what happens if we, if the vessel goes from fresh water to salt water? So let me just put it this way. Well, the salt water is heavier or denser. It will support the vessel and the vessel will rise. Uh, let me just mark here. So here the vessel will rise or simply draft will decrease, draft will decrease. So let me mark the draft. So this portion is the draft. Here the draft is decreased. Well, as per the load line, we are supposed to load up to this level. Let me just mark here up to this level in salt water, but we have loaded only up to this level. So that means we have loaded less cargo. We have loaded less cargo, which simply mean that there is a loss of earning. We don't want that. So what we have to do? Well, to avoid this situation, we can submerge this load line mark in fresh water itself by some amount so that when the ship goes into salt water, she will rise up to this load line. Now let us discuss about this typical load line marks seen on the starboard side. Well, this is S mark or summer load line. This is the line marked with S and is in line with center of the disc. It denotes the depth to which a ship can be loaded when it is floating in salt water in a summer zone. So the summer load line is indicated by the upper edge of the line. So let me just mark here. This is the upper edge. It is indicated by the upper edge of the load line. Now this F is the fresh water load line and this is the line up to the ship can be loaded in fresh water in a summer zone. So it must be noted that when a ship loaded to F in fresh water goes in salt water, what happens? Well, the ship will rise, rise, rise like this and it will come to the S level. The distance between F mark and this is the top edge mark always from the S mark, this is also the top edge mark, is nothing but fresh water allowance. If we see carefully, when the vessel was loaded up to this line, this fresh water mark, the density was 1. However, when vessel is loaded up to S mark, the density is 1.025. Well, we can see the vessel behaves like a hydrometer. It can tell the density of the water. Now let us define fresh water allowance. It is the number of millimeters required to change a ship's mean draft when a vessel goes from salt water to fresh water and vice versa when loaded 
up to the summer displacement and that is pretty important first of all let us understand what happens when we go from salt water to fresh water well again the fresh water is much light less denser so it doesn't support the vessel will sink here and this will increase the draft increase the draft similarly when vessel goes from fresh water to salt water the salt water is much heavier much heavier or more dense so that will raise the ship or will decrease the draft and this fresh water allowance is given by this formula fresh water allowance is equal to w divided by 4 into tpc where w is the summer displacement and tpc is tons per centimeter tons per centimeter and this fresh water allowance is given in millimeter 